Yeah, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm Brett Papa, and so this is it. Today is the final day of the Halloween sale where everything at brettpapa.com is 50% off, and it's a way to celebrate. I got a brand new product called Blue Soling Secrets Minor Level 1, a 13 hour just deep, 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 deep dive, like where you need one of those metal diving suits. Just <laughs> took me forever and I was like what is up why is this course takes not 13 hours that's why 13 hours 96 licks and if you don't know how to play the pentatonic scale by the time you're done I I I got nothing <laughs> so check it out this is gonna be an excerpt from it it's all kind of blues rock like uh, classic rock style stuff not blues like one four five blues but like full blown turn up the radio rock and roll blues rock stuff and that, that's 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 my wheelhouse that's what i dig so that's what i made for you i hope you like it check it out again sale ends tonight at midnight everything on the site is 50 percent off hope you enjoyed the video catch you soon So, you know, it's our last lick in this chorus, last one for the song. We're gonna do some bending. We're gonna we're gonna face our fears. All right, maybe maybe I'm making a big deal about this just because my fingers hurt. Maybe you guys don't even care. Maybe you like got like caveman callous fingers, and you're like, dude, quit complaining about bending. I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> basic blues licks. I'm sticking to all bending blues licks. Position one, right now we know where we're at. Right, we got a D minor chord here, so when we're doing, we're hitting our D minor chord tones, right? So 12th fret, pull up, B string, 10 to 13, so. Now I'm gonna come from the bottom, and don't forget, we're also you know hitting parts of the D minor chord here too, right? Now I'm gonna come from the bottom, E, B on the 10th fret, right? So we got. And then. So we've essentially hit it, hit it. <laughs> We'd be hitting all of our chord tones, okay? So. We got. Total D minor. Okay, now from that point, we're gonna start working our C chord tones a little bit too, so we got. Right, we're also working our F chord tones as well, right? So if you remember, you got an F chord right here. So it'd be. Right up here. Right, so when we. Right. That note right there. Okay, and then. We got our G chord tones. Okay, so always keep in mind, keep your eye on the prize. We got the D minor covered, we got our C covered, we got our F. G or F and G cover, okay? And then. Now that's gonna be sliding into the 15th fret on the B. Second position, 13, 15. 
bring it down and then 13, 15, roll over to 15. Okay. One more time. Now I'm going to do a... This one's going to be the same thing. We're going to be on the 10th fret. But this time we're going to do a half step bend on the 12th fret. So we're going outside of the scale. But remember, you have a chord right here, which is your C chord, right? Right, so. And then. Right down the blues scale. Sometimes just going down the scale is perfect. It's melodic enough. It's, you know, you, you've gotten real melodic and now you want something kind of rootsy, right? So. Right, so we're going to back track. And then pull off from 12 to 10. Then we're going to go B13, E10, and then down the scale. Before we do our last heroic sliding run into the lightning bolt sound of a high bend. <laughs> All right, so we got. I'm just going to go. I'm just walking up the positions, right? So you go 14. 13, then you go up to the third position, which is going to be up to the 17th note, and 15 on the B, and then go up a whole step, right? So you slide into 19, 18, 20, pull off, and then you sneak your pinky under here and hit 20 on the E. So you go. So it's not too fast, right? It's not easy, but it's definitely in that, you know, late beginner, early intermediate kind of run. You know, I, I used to think of this like, well, that's pretty challenging. And then I visited some websites and saw some people playing that were intermediate. And I'm like, wow, I guess I'm intermediate. <laughs> So it skewed my whole bell curve of where people sit in the whole frame of, you know, technical ability. So I'm calling it, you know, late beginner, early intermediate kind of plan, right? So you can get it. It's just going up, practicing, going up those scales. Just practice it real slow. So the whole thing slowly. All right, so you got. Let's do it one more time slowly. Now we got the next riff. Okay, slowly. The following run. One more time. Last run. And that is all she wrote. Let's do it with the music one more time.
doing just an extra lick that's just awesome just because it's not even going to be in the tab it's going to be like secret lick you know like when you're playing super mario brothers and you hit that like secret block if anybody even knows that super mario brothers is anymore you hit that secret block and you're like whoa check it out you got a you know a turquoise mushroom that gives you super power 25 percent of whatever <laughs> longer check it out that is one of my favorite licks of all time it's a hendrix trick you bend up check this out bend up on the b and then when all the strings are scrunching together take this finger and roll it over so you're bending up on 13 roll it over onto the 12th fret and come down you can do it on secret lick so when all the strings bend together roll over and come down with the string above and then 12th fret Shh, don't tell anyone all right let's get on to the next jam track <laughs> 